Yo, what's going on, everybody out there in Radio Land? It's your boy Keith Harris, host of the Keith Harris Show, Global Network, right here on Hotline Radio. Now, we've been waiting for this man to come through for about a week and a half. Um, we are honored to have him here with us today. Finally, he able to talk to us, let us know what projects he's been up to and what we can expect from him in the future. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, Styles, let us know, first of all, let the people know, what was it like for you getting into this game? I mean, what type of things did you have to go through? Um, you know, just just how how did you start out? I mean, I really earned everything that I got. You know, so nobody was, nobody gave me any handouts or nothing. I started from the ground up, man. Yeah, that's real. Really? That's real, as a matter of fact, man. And and I, you know, as I watch, and for those people who already watch, can probably tell. You know what I'm saying? That where you coming from is a reality side. It's, it don't look like there's really no gimmicks and games behind, you know, where, what you're doing. Oh, uh, no. You, you, can try to, you can try that gimmick stuff somewhere else, man. It ain't happening out here, man. They're going to pull your car before you know it. Like, man, look, that ain't, that ain't accurate. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't right. <laughs> Word up. So the so the fans and so so all your peoples and, and the fans in the loo, they pretty much been sticking with you and behind you the whole nine yards too, right? Man, yeah, they they do, but you know you got some haters that don't want to see you come up off the um. Uh, I call it the slums, you know what I'm saying? Like, word. It's 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 hard to come up out the same bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I wanted to be one of the, the artists to make it out of my city. I didn't want to go to Atlanta. Uh, you know what I'm saying, I'm Florida, something like that, I'll come out to New York, and you know what I'm saying, I appreciate the love and all that, but I'd rather, you know what I'm saying, come on out my city first, and then let everybody else get a taste of what I got going, you know what I'm saying, but it's hard, you know what I'm saying? You know what, man, I, I, that, that, you know, pointing out that you say that, you know what I'm saying, I, I feel where you're coming from, because a whole lot of people nowadays, that's the first thing you hear people say when they're trying to get on is, yo, you know, I need to go to L.A. or or MIA or NY or something like that, man. And, um, you know, and, and so it's real that you say that you kind of wanted to stick to your own your own city, you know what I'm saying, and represent yeah. from there first because then you could bring that flavor to the rest of the world. You could bring the Lou with you. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Word. So now, all right, to go into, because like I said, you got a lot of videos, man. You, you've been on your grind, and I see your hits on there. So people... People been paying attention to you and watching you. <laughs> Word up. Now, now let me ask you, what, okay, let's talk about change my life. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, because in general, ha, now, for, before we get into the song, let me ask you this question, though. Has being musically inclined and being at the level that you're at now, has it changed anything? Because I know you're still out. I, I know you're still keeping it real with your peeps. No doubt about that. But has it changed? What else has changed for you, though? Um, it's, it's, it's been a lot that's changed, man. Like, I, I'm constantly going through, like, real-life situations every day. You know what I'm saying? Keep, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. keep it all the way real. I'm still one step in the street, one foot in the street, and one foot trying to do my rap thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of hard to balance both of them. Right. Because of the situation that I'm in. You know what I'm saying? I meet new people every day. And I just put it like this, like at the end of the day, I feel like, um, how can I explain it? At the end of the day, I feel like, like, they, they going back to their rich lives, they, their wives, their husbands, whatever. At the end of the day, man, I still got to go back home. Bro. I got to go back to the streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It's kind of like, if you ain't, if you ain't got a big mind or, uh, 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 how can I put it, like a business mind mentality going on? If you ain't got nothing going on, man, it's just to take you on to quit. Hey man, that, that that's real. That that's real, man. You know what I'm saying? And that that's that's actually, I guess that's what you put behind your music too, man. And that's what makes your songs really genuine in in both ways. And I'm gonna tell you why I feel that because it makes it real in the fact that you keep it real with what's really going on in your life in general. And then there's a positive side to that too because. You know what I'm saying? You trying to do something with yourself as well and trying to make it. A lot of people don't realize, man, you know what I'm saying? You try to pull yourself out of the situations that you might be already going through. Yeah, you sure right about that. What I do is, like, when it comes to my music, I, I just, I, I do it because I'm going through a situation or I got a homie or somebody that's going through a situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't know how to rap, so I express it my lyrics, you know what I'm saying, so they'll feel where I'm coming 
coming from. And it's a lot of millions and millions of people out there just like me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I feel I speak for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's some of the that that's some of the realest that's some of the realest words that you know what I'm saying a a a, a, a down to earth artist can really say. You know what I'm saying? Is being able, like you say, because you got a voice to be able to speak for other people who can't do what you do. Exactly. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? We, you know, first of all, we commend you. We we commend you for that already, because it's not a lot of artists that really keep it 100 percent genuine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I've been seeing a lot of fakery going on in the industry, man. <laughs> it kind of kind of turned my mind. Like, am I in the right? You know what I'm saying? In the right I'm business. Really yeah. Like, do I really want to do this? You know what I'm saying? Because it's so much. They, they 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 cover up so much stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Like then it's like when when you speak your mind about things, it's like you on the wrong. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. So so now, all right. So so change my life. Or uh, go, to go on to the song in general. What you know? What was the the influence? If you could speak it, you know what I'm saying? If you could speak about that, like what what was the influence behind that track for you? Man, I'm gonna tell you like this. I was in that video. I was doing exactly what you seen me doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> word up, and word I was, up. I was, I was in the streets. I was hustling. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I'm trying. I really want to. I really want to get out the streets. You know what I'm saying? I really want to change my life. But this is all what I got going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, I be, I actually sit down at night and pray to God. Like, man, it got to be a better way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm really tired of the streets thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and what I rock about is is what I'm living. You know what I'm saying? Where my friends is living. You know what I'm saying? Just real life stuff, situation. Word up. Now, with the video, you know what I'm saying, or or not that video in particular, but just with your videos in general, do you do a lot of the 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 direction in your videos? Like, yeah. okay. Yeah, I do. I do all my. I direct all my videos. I I got my own camera crew. Everything is independent with me. I don't pay nobody to do nothing. Like, I can do on my own. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, man. Makes you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, like I say. When I had checked it out, like you got quite a few videos out there, you know what I'm saying, moving around already. So it's just a, a, another, uh, you know, reinforcement that you really on your grind out there and taking this profession seriously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, I feel like I got a message to send and God got me here for a reason. There's been plenty of times I, I could have lost my life out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I'm, it, it, it's a message that needs to be sent out from the streets. To, to the whole world. Word up. Now the production, the production um in your songs is is, is great production. Who who do you, do you mostly do it yourself or you got a team that you work with or? No, nah, I make down all my tracks. I do everything myself. Oh man, you going hard out there, bro. Yeah, I, I it takes me 30 minutes to do a whole song. And I mix it I mix it down myself and I send it somewhere to get mastered. Okay. And and the ideas, the ideas from your song pretty much just like you say, come from life experiences or like sometimes you might go there, you might lay down and go to sleep one night. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people kind of when they got their time to themselves and things is on their mind is when they really kind of come up with their hits and stuff. Is that one of your formulas or how do you do it? Um, yeah, I, I, see, I don't smoke or drink, so I'm real, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I write my songs and I keep all my thoughts to myself. You know what I'm saying? I hop in my car, just drive, just thinking on something. I'm like, man, okay, I'm going to go home and write to this next week. Uh, like, real life situation, my homeboy lights off right now, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Let me go write, let me go write something about this right before, because I know what he's going through, and I feel this pain as I get down there before, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's... Just, that's how I do it, you know what I'm saying? That's real right there, man. Um... Now, what about like what about shows and stuff like that? Are you are you you, you being able to, to to put in your shows and stuff out there like you want to or? Actually, what I'm doing right now, I'm um, I kind of, I mean, I do a show, but I don't really do a show. Like I don't really focus on no shows right now. I really do working with my publicist, uh, obviously. Yeah. And um, we just getting we just getting ready to get back into the studio and doing the music and stuff like that. But I don't really focus on shows right now. Now, without 
Okay, and and that's that. You know that. Now, without doing them shows and stuff, man, because like I said, you got mad followers. So, how do you pull that off? You know what I'm saying? Like not having the shit. I spoon feed them. I put something hot out. They like, damn, who is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what he got next? I, I drop I probably drop two videos a month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I throw a few on world. So I just network. I just hit them. Like I hit them hard yeah. when I hit when I come out. You know what I'm saying? And um, I send it to a few DJs. They they um blast it out, and then that's when I get talking all these new followers and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I just phone people. I don't give them everything because I know I got some hot stuff. You yeah. know what I'm, I'm I'm real universal. I got tracks for the streets. I got tracks for commercials. You know what I'm saying? You know, I I I, I feel you. Sorry not to cut you, but I feel you because I know when I was checking your joints out too, man. And you know me me I uh, shoot. I'm just like anybody else. You know what I'm saying? I go in there. I I hear artists and. I get stuck. And I noticed when I went on there, man, and I mean, and, and I'm going to keep it G, I'm going to keep it 100. Like, you know, I, I listen, I go on and check people, I check out artists every day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm an interviewer, so that's what I do. But I actually went, man, when I went and checked your stuff out, bro, I got stuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word up. Like, I noticed that, you know what I'm saying? I went through, I said, damn, that joint, like I looked up and I was people one of your joints. I said, damn, like, by then, the end of the song was there, and I'm clicking through, seeing what else is there, you know what I'm saying? So I can see what you're saying. Like, you do have a style in music and production that that really people get latched on to. It's, it's genuinely good mm-hmm. music. It Yeah, it don't mm-hmm. it don't even seem like you really, you know what I'm saying? And you're not a new jack in this, but it shows. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, that, that says a lot. Now, when, you know, because a, a lot of people... I mean, you got a million people out there who want to rap. I mean, we all do this. We all from the same culture. Like, but at what age? I mean, you probably was doing it from young. But when? At what point did you realize that you wanted to share your craft and share your music with the world, and and not just you know kind of just be rapping for your own sake? Um, in two thousand six, when I had um, I had dropped a, uh, a little club single called Freak Mode. Okay. And it just took over the city. Like, I dropped it one week, and then the next week it was on the radio, and it just took over the city. Like, I was I was so overwhelmed that I wasn't even serious. I had just put the song out there. And I seen right then, from that day on, that, like, I can do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they straight, they embraced me, my own city. Now, this is a hating city, you know what I'm saying? So, they, <laughs> if they, if they, if they lose the embrace you, man, you're doing something right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I've been doing it since then. You know what I'm saying? I just took took either that and kept it moving. I feel what you're saying too, man, because you know, the the Lou got love everywhere. But when it comes to artists artists, there's there's talent there, but you know, as you say, you don't see a whole flush and rush of no. of, of people there who, who come out of that. So I can imagine it had to be hard. Like you you got to be knowing what you're doing in order to have got as far as you've gotten, like your music has stood out. Yeah, you gotta boat guard your way through this, man. Like it's like you gotta instead of the DJs coming to you asking you for music, you act, you you really gotta you gotta go to them. Like, huh? Slide them twenty or fifty dollars. I'll play this for me. Sometimes they still won't play. You know what I'm saying? It's just however they feel it. You, know, you gotta deal with all types of stuff, um, man. You gotta deal with if they if they got into it with their wife, that thing, you gonna you gonna end up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word up. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. That's real. Um, we're going to, we, you know what I'm saying? We're going to take a break right fast. And what we're going to do is, um, matter of fact, matter of fact, in the meantime, what we're going to do is, now, before I go into this, man, here's the next thing I want to bring up. Because we get ready to go into your, um, to one of your tracks, Broken Earth, which is, it's a big deal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a big deal and it's, it's real positive. So we're going to go into that, but, you know, and then we'll talk about that when we come back. We're going to let the people hear that, but. One thing that I, I wanted to mention to you too, man, is is with with the controversy that goes on down there. Does that really, or, or that's been going on down there, has that taken so much of an effect on you as an artist, or being able to put out your music, or or emotionally, or what? Nah, I, it's not really affected me at all. Like I said, I just really just went through it. You know what I'm saying? It's really real. You know what I'm saying? I, the, the whole thing with the Ferguson situation, like, I was actually down there. I was the one with my mom down there protesting the day that 
uh, Mike Brown got killed. You know what I'm saying? Like, my brother's number was in the same apartment complex that when he got killed. Sent his body out there for four hours. Oh, man. It actually, it, it actually just, like, it broke my heart to see that. You know what I'm saying? So, it took... Because a lot of my videos that I do, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's, it, 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 it shows guns, all that, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is how I live my life, you know what I'm saying? But I, it kind of changed me a little bit, like, man, we, we killing each other, you know what I'm saying? Word. And, 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 the, and the white officers, they, they helping us, you know what I'm saying? They killing us too, and they getting away with it. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, they touched me in a, yeah, another way, like, man. I feel you. All right, now, we great go. Uh, Y'all listen to the Keith Hurst Show Global Network on Hotline Radio. We right here with my man, City Styles. Um, so y'all stay with us. In the meantime, we're going to go into into one of your tracks, Broken Earth, man, which is a real big deal. I want y'all to pay attention to this song because it's serious. It's positive. It means a lot. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's something we need to keep on our minds. So I'm going to let you go ahead. I'm, I'm going to let you introduce uh, Broken Earth to everybody, uh, City Styles. Let them know. Right here on Hotline Radio, this is Broken Earth with City Styles. Take it. 
City Styles with Broken Earth right here on Hotline Radio. Now, I hope y'all was listening because, like I said before, man, it's a positive message behind that track, and it means a whole lot. Now, City. What it down? What up, man? Now, tell it. What what really what really was your, your inspiration? You kind of spoke to us before, but when did, you, when did you know that that was a track that you needed to really come out with? When did that decision hit you? Yeah, that's a, that's a super that's a super huge situation too because, you know, like you said before, by you actually being down there, it ain't nothing, man. You know, people hear about stuff all over the news everywhere, but in every scenario, it's nothing like actually having to be a part of what's taking place. You know what I'm saying? Like you did because it's real emotional for all the people around you, like even family and people that you care about. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Now um, I right, now. What about uh, collaborations? You know what I'm saying? Well, collaborations. I know you mentioned to me earlier about a song called Every Everyday Thing. Like, tell me a little bit about that. Um, Everyday Thing. What I did was I took a um a, a old um phone sample, one of their very first songs that they dropped. Uh -huh. And um, like I'm a I'm a huge Bone fan, man. I love all the Bone members, man. You know what I'm saying? And then I got in contact with um with um. Crazy Bone. Right. And, like, he's a real down-to-earth dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, if any, if I ever need anything, you know what I'm saying? Features, anything, he, 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 he had me, man. And that's what happened. I, I took that sample, I put my verse on, and I sent it to him, and then there you go. It's it magic. It, it was on from there. Yeah, it was on from there. That's what's up. What, what, what about, um, is it... Uh, are you looking at a date that you might like leak that to the people? You know what I'm saying, as a single or anything, or or you know, can it be yeah, found? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really waiting on because Crazy Bone's about to drop an album, like a final um album called Chasing the Devil. Okay. And um, I'm really waiting on his say so to when we gonna drop it because we gonna we gonna do a video, we gonna do a video, all that. You okay. know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just I'm just waiting on his say so. Like City, let's go. We gonna go. Okay. N now, what about um, what about you, you planning on you, you planning on going on, on on the road or anything like that? I know you would. I know yeah, you. Actually, I know actually you. I'm going on um, tour. I think it's in December or January with Bone Thugs and Harmony. Oh. And, um, we just gonna try with around the world. We gonna try to get around the world because they're dropping their last album. Yeah. Uh, um, and then I guess uh, your Crazy Bone dropping his uh, his final album, Chasing the Devil, and um, uh, they 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 invited me along with it. Like, come on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Yo, that's. Uh, man, I, that's, it, it, it's like a dream, man. Like you, you grow up on something, and you, you and then, then just to hear them call you on the phone, like, "Hey, what you doing?" I'm saying, "How things going in St. Louis?" You like, "Man, you talking to me?" <laughs> <laughs> Word. It's just, man, I'm just blessed, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I got going. I'm going up to a ball through. I think it's uh, December or early January. Hey, that's all right, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's. That's right around the good winter months too, you know what I'm saying? So you get to you know what I'm saying, you get to do some traveling around and, and get away for a little while, man. What what's the weather like in St. Louis during December? It's it's chilly like like everywhere else, ain't it? Man, in December, man, it'd be like minus 
minus three. You're from the green. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to raise this shit. I think trying to get up out of here. I'm trying to go to Florida somewhere. Word up. Well, you know what I'm saying? At least, you know, like you said, at least when, you know, you'll be on tour now, so you'll be getting to see a lot of different places and, and you know. Ah, yeah. That's going to be beautiful. A lot, a lot of different languages, different foods. That's, man, that's, look, man, that's another thing that's real positive, too, is being able to get out and travel like that because when you come back off tour, man, you know what I'm saying? it would be so many different experiences that you would have, man. You Are you, are you waiting on that? Oh, uh, yeah, you know I'm waiting on that. I need to come, I, <laughs> I, I'm going to have more bars, I'm going to have more songs, you know what I'm saying, and it it, it it opens my mind, like, you know what I'm saying, oh, okay, I was in Australia, you know what I'm saying, Word. doing stuff and stuff, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, I need that. Yeah, that's for sure. Now, uh, and, and once you come back, man, you know what I'm saying, uh, we're gonna get into contact, or we're gonna stay in contact, and what we're gonna do. Matter of fact, man, I I hope I can I, I hope I can find you while you're out there in one of them other countries, cause you know this is the global network, so we can we can link up. You you could be in Germany somewhere, man, and we could still get on here, ha have you back on the show. You feel me? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we, we definitely gotta get that cracker. Word up, and we you know we we check in with you and, and see how you going out there. Check out on the big smiles, cause I know it's gonna be going down heavy, right? Yeah, yeah, you already know. Word. Them Bucking fans is crazy, man. I seen a couple of their shows on, on YouTube. I'm like, man. Yeah. Well, I, I'm sure you. I'm. I. I know they're doing anything. I'm sure you gonna have it turned up out there too. Just the energy and stuff like oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. They. They. Everybody loves St. Louis, man. They love the way I talk and all that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, I'm sure they're gonna work out just fine. Word. Now, um, you know what I'm saying. But before we get out of here, let. Oh, now let me ask you this question. What? advice would you have i always got to say this you know what i'm saying to to give a you know keep the youngest with a good message man what advice would you have for for the youngsters out there coming up that's trying to get the way you got to and trying to stay disciplined on, on their goal like you are what advice would you have for them I, 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 um, I tell them all the time is like you're gonna have people well i call them the devil you know what i'm saying they're gonna be trying to pull you down like look go, go do this go do that you got to have a strong mind and be like, nah, you know what I'm saying? That's not what I want to do. I want to, you got to stay focused. That's the first thing you got to stay focused. Man. And, and, and stay consistent. Don't drop a single and then they don't hear from you from six months. You know what I'm saying? You got to stay consistent. Get out there and push that. You know what I'm saying? Get out there and get your name on. And, and stay independent. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, uh, it's a lot of artists that made it independent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ain't got to pay for everything. You don't have to come out of... I learned the hard way, paying for everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Came out of thousands of dollars. Just stay consistent and, uh, you know what I'm saying, independent. Word. That's what I tell them. Do you... I, now, do you even... Okay, now, one more question before I go. Question. Now that you mention that, because... And, and I'll give my opinion first. I don't think the game is like it used to be. People don't... Listen, listen. People don't want to listen. Like you say, people got to be independent. I don't think the game is like it used to be. People don't... Like you say, people got to be independent nowadays because labels are not putting people on the way they used to back in the day. Am I wrong or? No, you're right. You're definitely right. I just think, man, I got a couple homeboys that got them 360 deals. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to put no names out there, but I, I know for sure they got the 360 deals. Yeah. And it, 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 nah, I, I feel you work hard, and then it's like somebody come and take your whole, your whole operation up. Like, look, this is how I'm going to pay you. This is how... I, you're going to eat just how, you know what I'm saying? I want you to do things this way. No, that's not right because you work so hard to get where you're going, uh, where you're going, where you're heading. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, man, I, I stay independent and I wouldn't care if I ain't make a dime off none of my songs or my uh, videos. You know what I'm saying? I do this from the heart. You know what I'm saying? Word. Word up. Now, what, well, um, okay. Where, where can it, let everybody and everybody know where they can go social media because you all over the place now you on every you on all the networks which is a good thing and it's, it's smart let everybody know where they can go check out your music uh link up with you on social media and so on man i'll be um you can check me out on youtube just type in um city styles 27 that's c-i-t-y s-t-y-l-e-z um the number 27 you can check out all my videos on there i'm on uh i'm in the hip-hop PX magazines I'm, uh, I got an issue coming out with the source this month. A word? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I got an issue coming out with Global Brian next month. That's Russell Simmons uh, magazine. Uh, uh, Facebook, I'm on there all day. Yeah. Um, you can uh, it's Facebook, backslash.com, six styles. And, um, I'm on Instagram and Twitter all day, too. Uh, my Twitter address is uh, SGL, city styles. And then my, um, uh, 
um, Instagram is um, City Stylist, C-I-T-Y-S-T-Y-L-E-Z. I'm on all my social networks all day, every day. That's what's up, man. Like I, you know, like I, you know, everybody out there in Radio Land, like I was saying to you before, uh, you know, th- this dude is a big deal, and and it shows in his work work ethic, and, and the way he stays on his grind and puts out. And as you can see, just from the things that he even involved with, you know, what I'm saying that I'm not the only one telling y'all this. You know, what I'm saying other people word up, like everybody else is noticing it too, man. And, and again, we commend you for that. That's a big deal. Uh, any any shout outs you want to give out there, man? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to both of my publicists, obviously, and Lindsay, and um, my um, my Flip Squad crew. You know what I'm saying? All the St. Louis artists, independent artists that's trying to make it. Just to, all my supporters, fans, Hotline Radio. You know what I'm saying? We got you. Yep. Uh, that's about it, man. We just gonna keep it moving, keep it grinding, man. That's what's up, man. That's both. Keep it going. All right, all right, Styles, man. Look, again, everybody, that's City Styles. Make sure you go everywhere and pick up the music. Make sure you find him on the social networks. There's no excuse why you can't find out what's going on with this man because he's out there and, and he's pushing his projects real heavy. Uh, he, he, he's going on tour. So, again, now, that's one thing I want to stress, too, here at the Global Network. Y'all listening to us all over the world right now. And the man says he's going on a worldwide tour, a countrywide tour. So he is coming to a country near you. You know what I'm saying? Word up. You know? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Wherever you're at right now, make sure you check your listeners. Matter of fact, man, if, if you do get a chance to, um, you know, when, when you get that, that itinerary or whatever and know what uh, countries you're going to be going to and you are allowed to put that out, man, make sure you let us know so we can plug that and let everybody know out in them countries that you're going to be on the way. I definitely will do that for you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's what's up. All right. All right, Styles. Look, man, we appreciate you. We honored. Um, you know, on behalf of myself and Hotline Radio, we we glad that you stopped by and talked to us. You know you need to come on back anytime you get ready to, man. And um, I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep pumping the jams. I'm going to keep your music in rotation all day over here, bro. Much love, man. I appreciate that. All right, man. Hold it down. Hold it down in the loo, and I'll talk to you soon, fam. Okay. All right, 100. That was City Styles repping from the St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? Good dude. Got his stuff together. Staying focused. Staying disciplined behind his music all the way. Um, you know, a general of his craft. And, you know, we, we thank him for coming by and talking to us. Make sure you go check him out on all the different networks. We'll be promoting and um, keeping y'all in tune with what he got going on and what he'll be doing as well. So make sure y'all know about that. Um also, in the meantime, yo, what's going on, everybody out there in Radio Land? Of course, you know this your boy Keith Harris, host of the Keith Harris Show, Global Network, right here on Hotline Radio. Um, as y'all know, we was just talking to my man City Styles, and you know, we had a good positive conversation about everything. Uh, but I wanted to bring him back on the show for a minute because I like some things that he said before and the fact that he was pretty much just keeping it down to earth and generally generally real. And so I had a couple youngsters that liked what he was saying. As a matter of fact, I got some calls and some people just just kind of like like the way he put that good message out there. So I promised them that I would bring him back and just have him speak one more time on the importance of staying on a positive path when you're following your goal. So, you know, City, if you could just say a few, just a few more words, man. We won't hold you long, but just a few more words about that. Oh yeah, I got you, man. Uh, like basically, what I was saying is like just. I know it's a lot of a lot of youngsters, you know what I'm saying, that's out there and they look up to these rappers and everything that you see on T V is not real, you know what I'm saying? You you gotta go with your heart. You know what, I'm what you feel is right in your heart, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just because you, you see him flashing guns and selling dope and all that stuff, man, that shit ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? That's not cool at all. Some people doing that because they have to live that life. That's how. That's the only way they make a means of them um, feeding their family. You know what I'm saying? But you can choose a different route. You know, every, you know what I'm saying? Every rapper's not the same. Every artist's not the same. I mean, it's, it's, all, it's all upon you. You know what I'm saying? How right. you can have a you got parents that go, you know what I'm they have a, a, a nice nine to five job. You know what I'm saying? But you, that's not, you don't have to be what you see on TV. Be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. That, that's that, what I'm saying. Just be 
yourself and do you. And like I said, stay consistent with it. People won't like you for you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't try to be something that, that you're not because that'll either land you dead, locked up, or in positions that you, you wish you could get out of. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, um, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, as well as, as me saying that there were um some people uh who, who had who had got in touch and, and, and because they liked what you were saying and wanted to get chance to um you know hear your voice again and, and possibly speak to you. Uh there's someone else, I believe. Uh as a matter of fact, one of those callers might be on the line right now. I don't know, uh BC. Hello Hello? Yeah, hello. Hey. I think um, someone's on the line as well. There's somebody that wanted to talk to Sal. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Yo, yo, what, what up, man? It's crazy. <laughs> what's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? What's good with, man? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. How you doing? Man, I'm all right, man. You know, just, just, just in the wind, moving around, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, I, I, I'm really digging the message you were kicking out there, too, man. You know, like, because a lot of youngsters do need to know that, you know what I'm saying? Like, Word up, man! You ain't see that. You, you ain't see that. Did, did, that was a, a bit of a surprise for you, man. I know. I know you. You and you and Crazy know each other, but that was a bit of a shock right there, wasn't it, bro? Yeah, you know. Every, every time I talk to Crazy, man, he give me some sense of hope, man. Like everything gonna be alright. You know what I'm saying? Word up. When I talk to him, man, I appreciate him, man. You know what I'm saying? Them two people is what's keeping me focused. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm out here and I'm going through things, I'm like, man, I got it. I can't get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? I, I got. I got people. You know what I'm saying? Behind me. That's, that's, that's really important. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how I stay positive. That's all right, man. Um, Look, Crazy, we want to thank you here on Hotline Radio and, and say we honored to have you here too, man. And, and you know, we, we you know that that's that was a good look to come through and, and holler at cities, uh, city styles like that, man, and, and, and for having us back the way you do, man. Everybody commends and appreciates that, bro. Oh, yeah, man, for sure. You know, I, I, I told him, I told him a few times, you know, I think he really, That's a, that's a lot said, and I know even with you guys' music, man, the same for me, man. I came up listening to y'all, and y'all had, you know, y'all kept it, y'all, in your music, y'all kept it real as well, and they were also, y'all kept it real with the streets, but there was also positive messages about family and everything behind y'all music too, man. Oh, yeah, definitely, you know, because it's just like, just like Stavis said earlier, you know, like, we, we, we was, we was, we were some of the ones that really did not have a, they really didn't have a choice, you know, and we, we, we lived that lifestyle. We didn't do it to become kingpins and stuff like that. We did it simply to survive day to day, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and at the same time, we prayed that, prayed to God that, you know, he help us not have to do live this lifestyle no more. And when he showed us a different way, you know, we, we, we never turned back, you know, and that's why, that's why you heard more positive music from us after we, made it and established ourselves that, you know, we felt like, yo, it's time to get back and it's time to keep these answers for real. Everything we did, you know what I'm saying, it, 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 it wasn't pleasant. Right. It wasn't pleasant. It, 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 it wasn't a pleasant outcome. In fact, we didn't get the blessing until we made the decision to change our way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it, it, it's real 
you would think that people know these these things, you know, and it's serious out there for real. That's what's up. And and you know what? And and styles again, man, you know what I'm saying? Much much blessings and continued success to you, bro. Cause um, you know, like I say, a lot of people behind you, you know what I'm saying, and and, and we with you one hundred percent and all the way, man. And I'm glad I'm glad to see this movement that y'all working together. I'm really glad to see it, man, because it shows positivity and unitedness between people doing good things, man, and bringing good music to the table. So again, I commend both of y'all, and I can't, I, I, I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all gonna be stopping through, you know what I'm saying, together in, in my neck of the woods or whatever it is, man, but I'm gonna try to come out and see y'all and support too, and we got y'all 100% over here at Hotline Radio. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you, Keith. That's what's up, man. All righty. Any, anytime, man. All right, y'all heard it. We had to bring Styles back on. To represent him, like I said when I got off the air, man, uh, Styles is a good dude doing his thing, pushing his music, real discipline, and, and a hard worker, and, and we commend that. And as you see, again, right there, good people stand behind good people and real recognize real. So special shout outs, you know what I'm saying, to everybody for linking that up and putting that together. And um, I'm glad to hear from y'all, and y'all come on back and talk to us anytime. Hey, any before y'all go, any 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 plugs y'all want to give before y'all before y'all head out? Anything you know? Yeah, well, man, basically just wanna uh, you know, what I'm saying let everybody know that I have a um, uh, my final solo album is coming out. It's called Chasing the Devil. It'll be out December December second. You know, and um, man, it, it's a, it's a trilogy album. It, it, it's a three CD album. I'm releasing the first one December second. Y'all to get the other two. You know, uh, top of the year. So, y'all look out for that. December 2nd, Chasing the Devil. Alright, that's what's up. And y'all y'all already know City Styles. Be on the lookout for him. So, y'all heard it right here. It's a big deal. Keep her show, Global Network, Hotline Radio, City Styles, Crazy Bone, the Bone Thugs, man. We thank y'all. We appreciate y'all and we honor, man. And we'll talk to y'all brother soon. Yes, Alright, take care. That's right. Y'all heard it right here on the Global Network. See, it don't go down nowhere else like it go down right here on the Global Network to keep her a show. You know what I'm saying? We coast to coast with this. We country to country with this. We everywhere with you. never know who you might hear pop up on our show from anywhere, all over. And it's a big deal. As I always say on, online, it's a big deal. So y'all don't want to miss out on it. Make sure y'all always um stay in tune with us. We're going we're gonna to ride out and take y'all into, matter of fact, we can already play a Bone Thugs and Harmony joint right now. Some positivity. This joint, this joint right here is called See Me Shine. So y'all stay locked. Don't go nowhere. Keep her show, Global Network, Hotline Radio.